I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the January 12th, 2018 edition of the weekly investment news show, I win TV, where you win, because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity and interest rate markets. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 92% winners and 8% losers. The average winning return is 48% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 818% since it came into the portfolio over 2 years ago. The average loss is 4% with the worst stock, wireless communications company America Movil losing 8% since it was purchased about 5 months ago. In the past month the natural selection algorithms bought and sold 3 stocks. They bought the agricultural chemical company CF Industries, the semiconductor company Marvell Technology Group, and the steel and iron company United States Steel. The three companies sold were, the medical instrument company CR Bard, which gained 4% since coming into the portfolio 5 months ago, the gaming company Electronic Arts, which has been the biggest loser for several weeks and was down 12% since it came into the portfolio 5 months ago, and the personal products company Unilever, which was down 5% since it was purchased 4 months ago. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets remained constant since we last reported two weeks ago. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 are both at very low risk. The risk level of both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 remain at low risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk degraded to moderate risk. Interest rates seem to be moving in a small range with no firm direction. Your government treasury investments should be held with average durations somewhat shorter at 3 to 7 years in case interest rates begin to increase. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you to bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Thank you for watching. I win TV. See what others can't.